Hello and welcome to a video from Brentwood Classic Workshops down here in Essex. This is a 1965 Ford Galaxy convertible that came into our workshops in a dark metallic blue colour. Not too bad but just looking a, a bit ragged around the edges, having a few rust issues and a few mechanical bits and pieces that need doing. And um, after stripping all the chrome off, any removable panels, the hood was removed, interior taken out, and then um, on a closer inspection of the bodywork we could see the nature of the repairs. I suppose the most extensive repairs were to the rear quarters that were rusty quite badly around the top of the arch and the front edge. So they were cut away to reveal then that the inner wheel arches had corroded as well. So we sourced the rear quarter repair panels, the exterior ones, from the United States and were duly ordered. But uh, the inner ones had to be fabricated by us in-house because they're not available to buy. So while all this was going on, we, the owner had collected most of the chrome to take away to hand polish and repair it where he could which left us when he brought it back with a little bit of detailing to do a couple of bits actually needed re-chroming which we've we got done but um, the rear lights had the the black insets that you may be able to see from this video um, have faded away so we detailed those they were picked out re-detailed the, um, the customer also requested twin aerials or on the back for a typical low ride look. So as we come around there you can see the other quarter that was repaired or replaced by us. So we go along the front there. We had a few alignment issues as well. And as you can see the door gaps are quite good now, probably better than it came out of the factory because these were a bit all over the place, which is an uncommon on a big convertible because you, you tend to get body flex. The, um, the 390 badges, as you can see on the wing there, were in a bit of a poor condition. So they were taken away by Matt and hand detailed, very painstaking and using a small brush. Another detail that the, the owner had an idea of, which none of us were really sure at the time was the the surrounds for the headlights as you can see here on the originally would have been just an aluminium panel um, the owner had a spare set of these inserts so he decided that what we try is we'll paint one in body colour put it on see what it looked like and if they weren't going to work we would polish the other set of them. I think you can agree that this colour really did lend itself to this detail and we, we decided, we, along with the owner, to leave them in body colour. We sourced um, new Ford badges for the bonnet from the United States and one of the chrome wing uh, wheel arch mouldings was missing and real, really by a fluke we managed to source those from the USA as well. So just going around it there you can see done quite a bit of work to it and uh, it's come out quite nice. Now I'm just going to move over now trying to hold the video at the same time and lower the hood so that you can see what a stunning car this looks with its hood down. So I'll just release the clip one side and of course with, um, with American cars it's a power hood. But, um, for the purposes of saving the power of the battery, I'll start the car up so that it's charging while I let it down. Which is not a bad practice with these because the hood motors do do take quite a bit of power from the battery. So just getting it now, you can possibly see from the video that the car's got no carpet in and the owner is taking that to, to have that done. There's the big old 6.5 litre V8 into action. And there's the hood. 
going down. Nice snug fit in the back there. So to give a, a proper effect to the look of the car, I'm going to drop the electric windows down. And just two around here. And that's all the windows down there. Just switch the engine off. A nice, uh, nice solid thud of the door closing there. Just to show a nice piece of alignment. So now, stepping back and having a look, you can see how that has changed the look of this car just purely by putting a hood down although some convertibles are not always that attractive with the hood up I think you'll agree that this car is attractive with the hood up as well as down the um, the colour we've painted it in is a colour called Electric Hawaiian Blue um, on a in more sunny light changes colour so much, I think you can even see there how much lighter the upright facing bit is compared with the um, the bit facing towards us just a totally different look so just coming round to the back the car is also fitted with air ride suspension which is uh, quite an interesting feature and of this sort of low ride looking car as you can see we've got twin aerials on the back again to give it the low ride look that's there showing there with those up a stunning looking car alloy wheels were already on the vehicle when it came in so I can now go around and what we'll do just monitor the readings on the pressure gauges there so I know where to put it back for a, a normal ride and on the pressure gauges there we've got 40 psi on the rears between 80 and 90 on the front so if I now lower these with the engine running And how's about that guys and girls? Proper low ride look there. You see air suspension really making it sit down. You know this there was a lot more pressure in the front, this is obviously because of the uh, the weight of the engine at the front. What a stunning looking car. There is a tonneau cover as well to cover the hood down, uh, to cover the hood when it's not in use like that, but it um, be a bit difficult to hold a camera, there it is on the back seat there, a bit difficult to hold a camera and do it at the same time. So we'll just put the suspension back up again, just uh, showing you there bringing that up, 40 psi on the back. And there's the pump kicking in there. There you go. There she is back up to uh, a normal road running position. So I'm just going to go around there while that compressor's just picking up. Pop the hood. See if I could do this one handed. Yep. As you can see, they're quite an attractive engine compartment. 
didn't have a lot to do to this when it came in. We had a overheating issue, which was just a matter of sorting um, the setting for the electric fan out. Replaced the water pump gaskets. A few level checks. We had quite a few issues with the um, air ride suspension. Mainly leaks and pressure settings wrong, all that sort of stuff. So, um, you might even be able to see the reflection of the engine in the in the hood there showing showing what a nice shine it's got so anyway so that's that so I'll shut the hood down nice solid clunk again really without getting too close you can see the attention to detail it's a very very straight car and the difficulty with these sorts of cars because they are so big and so flat panels really does take a lot of man hours to get them looking straight you can see another boot motif there that was hand picked out to replace the colour that had faded off so there you go so this hopefully will give you an insight of the sort of work we turn out our Brentwood Classic Workshops and indeed the attention to detail which sometimes is lacking these days with cars people just want to get a nice shiny paint job, slap everything on, get it out but as you can see we've painstakingly assembled this car to really give a good effect and uh, hopefully this car will not only be a credit to us but a credit to its owner ok so thank you for Brentwood Classic Workshops and I'll see you again soon with another video of another project. Bye for now.